So which one draws it best? Well, which one draws it at all? Because you could think more draw drivers, I think, as just calming down curvature. So whatever curvature you've got, certainly left to right, these might calm it down. It might, it's gonna, they're all gonna struggle to turn a draw, uh, a fade into a draw really so what's interesting when we get into this market when i look and uh, look at them all down by the ball is we get the classic cobra in the black finish shiny top then we've got the blue finish in the big bertha matte finish and matte finish in the tailor made with the tailor made with the white lines and the gray graphite it's like we're getting more standing outness and certainly more of a mixture from other categories where you generally get a matte finish and then the tailor-made stands out and all the others are generally black, which is interesting. I, I don't know if that is a thing or not, that they need to shout more. Obviously, the ping has the turbulators. We'll do the tech on all of them as we get going. Apart from the top of the ping, the rest of them all are very neutral looking, apart from their different colors. All sit with plenty of club head down by the ball, all generally quite stretched back all very friendly looking. So I'm gonna choose two at the end of this test to give the accuracy test and the 18th at Pebble Beach, so stay tuned to the end. Uh, in the comments down below, have you used a draw driver or not? Have you even tested one? You'll be amazed at how many players, they can help calm down curvature of ev any handicap as well. So down in the comments down below, have you tested or not? Ping down by the ball looks great. What I like about the ping is you are just getting the same club looking wise as nearly all the others in this model. I've just got the weight round in the heel so you don't see it from here and here so much all you see is a club head used by tour players which I think is quite a good point you know some people don't want their driver to shout draw I need help they want it to look like everyone else's driver or certainly maybe the people they watch on telly but then they want their help which obviously the weight round in the heel does and on the ping one it does whack it way in the heel maybe more than others now just a little side note with why I'm using the G410 with the weight in the heel is I quite like the idea of this one competing with dedicated draw drivers while this one obviously can be put into that setting and moved as the golfer develops. They do a straight fixed tech, which is a draw bias in this model as well, which could quite easily be included in this test. Maybe post comments down below if you want to see that one compared to this one in the heel and the others. For me, why I chose this one is I like the uniqueness of the fact that I can compete with them in theory, while at the same time move it back as the golfer develops. Post comments down below, let me know, like I say, if you want me to try the SF text, which is their most drawy in theory, but I think this is doing pretty good with the weight. I mean, it's so far in the heel on this track. So for all Ted's purposes for this one, if I didn't look at the weight at the bottom, it just looks like the normal ping G410 driver, which is good. And this one sounds and feels obviously like the Ping G410 driver because it is just the Ping G410 driver with the weight in the heel. So it's, it's everything I want it to be. And we'll look as the test goes on, as we present the numbers, if any of them do draw more than the other ones. I'm not sure we're gonna see that so much, but it'll be interesting to see if that does come out. I just feel solid, Ping, stable, easy, nice. And it's not the quietest sound, it's got a good pingy ting to it. Which I think in this bracket of club, you're gonna see that. So I'm gonna hit a total of around 12 drives with each club, but I'm gonna do three, three and three and then swap. So we don't get any warming up and cooling down, which is my standard practice for testing. So last one with the ping. I won't show you every rotation because you'll just get bored of watching me hit. But just to give you an idea how the test is being run. <laughs> A little bit out the bottom, but it's pretty solid. Not many of them went left. I don't think one of them went left. Just feels like a good ping. Sit square as well. I like the fact there's no sit in it way closed. Sim Max D neck, so nothing changeable on this one apart from the neck. Let's say we'll do tech of all of them, but obviously this one is their draw option. Again, Sim looks great down by the ball. Sits pretty square. You wouldn't really notice from this direction that it's a different club so much. It looks very similar, which I like. And I think the sim does just look great down by the ball, always has done. And it's a similar sound, maybe a fraction duller because we've got some carbon going on on top, but it still feels like there's plenty of speed off that face. I think shop appeal, which I talk about a bit, shop floor appeal, sim's gonna win, it is striking. With its colorway, cool, just slightly down the right that one, so nothing overly turning at the moment. Oh yeah, nice little draw on that. Feels solid. 
Feels good, looks good. Again, it's the sim driver, but it's all underneath where it's trying to help me get my shape or reduce my curvature. The Big Bertha B21 next. So we're now entering into the Big Bertha brand from Callaway. It's a famous brand in golf, one that means something to me. Post comments down below. Did you play any kind of Big Berthas at any point? It was massive when Big Bertha first hit. So to see that brand back is fun, but for obviously newer golfers, it might not mean as much. We get maybe the most triangular shape. So out of all of them, this one maybe is the most stretched backwards down by the ball, so it does give this more of a triangular shape, which is not a problem. I mean, it makes me feel confident that it's easy, but it also makes me feel like it might go in the air. Again, sit square. It seems like the days of hooking everything closed at address, well, at the moment, are not around. Obviously, that chops and changes, doesn't it? Because golf technology is never that linear, I'm afraid, as people want it to be. It's, uh, it's whatever trick they can pull next half the time, isn't it, I think? Again, feels solid. I can't, to be fair, between all these clubs so far, the first three, I can't hear any difference. They're very, very similar. And I would argue the general pattern of people buying this club, like the demographic, are maybe not going to be as fussy about sound and dialing in sounds. They literally are just wanting less curvature. That will sell it to them. Yeah, it just sounds good. It sounds as solid as any of them. Looks good, just a fraction more set back and it's got obviously the blue finish is the difference. Oh yeah, does just feel solid and nice. First the tests we did with this club, I was kind of impressed with this one. Be interesting to see how it stacks up with the pack. Cobra Rad XD, the draw, you can see it in here. Again, this one's subtle. It looks like the other driver. There's three in this makeup and the standard one. It doesn't look like the player's one. It's a different color, but you, again, you wouldn't really tell the difference looking down at it. It's not until you get to the bottom that you see the word draw and you presume there's more weight under this pad if there is or not. So again, you wouldn't really know what club this is. I know I do like the look of the Cobra. I like the way the face blends with the head because of the milling on the face. You get this curved look, which they use for aerodynamics. And they've also got ideas that are similar to twist face on this one, which they kind of were the first to do. And the face does look amazing. I don't know if you're picking that up. Look at the milling on it. It looks like it looks classy. Again, feels good. I would say this one feels the most, the less tingy. Like you do feel the face. The face makes that unique, slightly forward sound, which is a bit more unique to Cobra. So I would say the face feels less of a smash. It feels like a nice absorbing hit. Again, plenty of face down by the ball and it's uh, sitting square. Like again, I'm just not knowing it's a draw club really. It does feel solid. A slight Healy cut as well, and it felt good. As I carry on collecting the data, why don't we look at the tech of these clubs and see which one's shouting the most and which one might offer you the most help. So the tech on these four drivers. Now, if you want in-depth looks at the tech, check out the individual uh, reviews of each one of these clubs that I've done. Standout things, let's say for TaylorMade to kick us off, we've got twist face on this, where they angle the face to try and help you bring that ball more into the target when you do have those miss hits. They've also got the face is brought, it's made over tolerance and brought back to try and give it the most ball speed. Similar ideas of forging face on the Cobra, trying to increase tolerances. They're using aerodynamics by curving the edge of it, those kind of ideas. Ping have, I think, a forged face on this one. They're saying it's strong and thin and speed and game improvement like all of them. And you've got the flash face from Callaway. So all of them are trying to do face technology that might allow you to get a little bit more ball speed on those offset hits. Standouts when you look down, turbulators on the top of Ping, so aerodynamics. Um, these ridges trying to improve aerodynamics. Uh, the sim talks about aerodynamics with this bit on the back. Cobra obviously got aerodynamics in the face curvature as well. And the shaping on the Callaway are talking aerodynamics as well. Callaway have the jailbreak, so the two bars are joined the top to the bottom of the head, trying again to give stability on the face, and the others have that. Carbon crowns on three, so Callaway, Cobra, and TaylorMade, not with the ping. 
ping has the sliding weight, so remember this club can be neutral and faded, so it competes with the draw bias, but it's also a neutral as well. All of them feature the changeable neck system. Ping have the most discreet looking, so it looks great. Uh, most extensive ones are a bit more in the Callaway, and certainly the Cobra very extensive in lofts and uprights and close those kind of ideas. So all three of them are obviously set up for the draw ideas as well. So we've got weighting in the heel. I've moved the weighting into the heel of this one on the ping. We've got weighting fixed in the heel of the Cobra. And then the standout with the weighting ideas with the Callaway is it's not only in the heel, it's forward. Because they're trying with this club to reduce spin and curvature with um, the way they've placed the weight in this club. So in theory, we should see this one maybe standing out as a lower spinning. It'll be interesting to see what the numbers deliver. Plenty of tech in all three of these, all delivered to try and, if set up correctly like the ping, help you promote less curvature to the right. Let's see if any of that shines through in the test. Right, we've gone round, last one with the ping. Let's look at these numbers. Let's see if anything is being thrown up in particular that might stand out. So look how close these are getting. 158, 158, 157, 158 ball speed. Not my fastest day today, unfortunately. Ball speed so similar across all of those. 0.5 in it for some of those clubs. Spinning ranging from 2.1 to 2.3. TaylorMade May 2.3, Callaway 2.3, the Cobra 2.1 and the Ping 2.1. Remember the Callaway is meant to be the lowest spinning, so not really shining through on that test. If we look at the distance, Ping's coming out one yard further than the Cobra, 275, 276, 271 in the Sim, 273 in the Callaway. I wouldn't see one of those longer than another. Two good strikes or slightly higher strikes with the TaylorMade would knock the spin down, would knock this up, and it would get in a par with those. Literally struggling to choose from those. I think the thing that's going to have to make me choose is I'm going to have to choose the two longest to take it to the which one can hit the longest and straightest. And then another point, look at the dispersion. I mean, how... You couldn't get four drivers much closer, could you? It's amazing. And think about it as well when it comes to custom fitting. These drivers are draw drivers, not built for my speeds or my delivery particularly, but you can see how close I can get them and pretty much fitting into my standard drives, a fraction slower. But I would say that's me today more than those clubs. We're talking like two mile an hour slower, four or five yards carry slower. I mean, that's a slightly achy back and another day older for me, possibly. I think it's uber, uber close, but going down to the 18th at Pebble, we're gonna have to take the G410 Plus and the Cobra onto those tees, because yeah, I, I could take any of them, but we're gonna take the two longest. I think it's only fair. So what I like about this whole, obviously these are draw drivers and we're not allowed to go left. So reducing the curvature here is only gonna help because you don't wanna be hitting it in the old bay. So we'll go three shots each. Um, and we're going to choose longest and straightest for the winner. So I'm going to hit three with the ping, three with the cobra. Which one do you reckon is going to win? Post those comments down below out of the three. And will I hit any in that ocean? I am just going to try and hit a line ball. I'm not particularly going to aim massively right because the first uh, test you saw, it wasn't really anything going massively left. Bit out of the bottom, unfortunately. That won't be long, but it's arrow straight. And that's something the ping just constantly, co that's gonna hit the line, isn't it? Go on. <laughs> constantly, constantly wins. It's 250 carry, it's really short. I caught it right at the bottom. It's so stable, this club. Every test I do, it feels stable. And to be fair, the Cobra, when I first tested it, felt very similar in how stable it is. Right, I need a bit more speed. It was only 109 and a strike. Yeah, and that's like felt toey, and that isn't drawing back. Have I flown the tree? Not quite. I need, oh, I've hit the tree. <laughs> it's going to affect that distance. So that's two fairway balls. Decent strike, but not my best on the second one. Ball to be 157, so 160 is where I'm trying to average. So you can see I'm definitely a little bit of a slower day today. All right, let's give this one a bit more. Like you can see there's nothing leftness about this. Again, that was a slight Healy cut, so it's gonna go under the tree. Miss it, yes. 258 carry, so not my longest hits, quite high spinning, but three fairway balls. So I think the Cobra can win on distance. Can it deliver as well? Can I deliver it as well? We've only got to pick one winner though. It's not overall three, but you could obviously choose that in your, as you watch, which one you value the most. That's an arrow. 
Struck not bad, it's one mile an hour faster and I think we've got a winner already. I think that is gonna be the longest and the straightest. I just need to get a little faster today. Again, look at that, the Cobra's owning it. It's two mile an hour faster, you see it flying the tree, it better strikes, that's a 157 ball speed, so still not my fastest. There's the toe, no, it's just a dipper. Now this is an interesting point with this club. I cannot work out, I've had a few of these with this club. This strike was off the top. So look at the spin on this last one, 700. I cannot work out, I mean look at the strike. Like that spin, I can't work out if it's a misread with my machine on this club or this face if hitting that spot. I've had a few of those on testing. Certainly warming up, I was getting a few of those with the Cobra. Yeah, anyone else testing this club, let me know. If you've had a few of these, any fitters watching and you found a few of these, let me know, I'd love to know. And I'm sure Cobra would as well, because that isn't that bad a strike to be spinning that ridiculously low. So I'm gonna disable that last one, because it's, I don't know if it's a real shot or not. So 254 through miss hits, 262 was my longest with the ping. So again, not a fair comparison on that, but batch of shots, you can see it's lower ball speed, lower launching, just hitting it in the wrong place on the face. So I think the Cobra wins that fun little accuracy and distance test there quite comfortably. Averaging, look, everything was, so this was zero, 20 right, 13 right yards. This was four, two and zero, but you gotta remember this was a dippy nowhere ball. Best driver for me on that test, any of them. Definitely Cobra did well. That low spoon in one really worries me. You saw from the group test how close they all were. If I was buying these just purely to try and promote draw or less curvature, again, I'm not, I'm not seeing anything from any of these, which is, an extreme reduced curvature weapon over each other. They're all very similar. And if you think about it, you'll probably find that the center of gravity on all these clubs is very much in a similar place, if not the same. The faces aren't gonna differ that much at all. So if you hit it in the same place of each club with the same deliveries, obviously you're gonna get very, very similar results. Do draw drivers help you hit draws? Not really. Do they reduce curvature? Yes, I've done a test with a group of amateurs, which will come hopefully soon. I've got a video saying if these work or not, it's quite interesting what it did to a group of amateurs when I hit them exclusively with draw drivers, none of them played a draw driver. So maybe post comments down below if you want to see the results of that test. Can't choose, to be fair, you choose. Let me know in the comments, which one would you choose? I can't choose between any of them. I think they just all were very, very good. Thanks for watching as always, post comments. Let me know what one you'd like. Hit the like button if you want to see more tests like this to give you more of a better option of understanding what clubs might suit your game when you're coming to spend your hard earned money. Thanks guys, no real overdraws, nothing in the ocean, but no standouters there.